Hey everyone, Yuta Vulture here. Welcome back to the channel. Bringing you a new video of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, playing this on my PC and LG 45 inch ultra wide OLED. Now, looking here, pulling up the monitor settings panel so you can see how I have everything set up on the monitor specifically. Also worth noting, but most of the picture settings are controlled via the NVIDIA control panel. So if you want to see how I have that set up, I have the detailed list of my NVIDIA control panel video settings uh, listed down in the description of this video. Also, down in the description of this video, you can also find a few different pieces of information, which include a link tree where you can donate to and support the channel directly and the 5% discount code of coffee and tea orders. Also, last thing, but I've created a membership tier as another means of supporting the channel. You can check that out by clicking the join button down below here on YouTube. Again, uh, only one tier right now, another means of supporting the channel, and I will be adding future tiers in the, uh, just uh, when, as I start creating them, particularly in terms of setting them up and really just how I, I haven't really figured out how I'll set them up, but I will be creating those soon. Now, playing here, uh, worth noting, but just uh, spoilers up ahead. Spoilers really in general, this is a story-driven game, so just uh, just so it's known, um, again, engaging with some story, uh, story content here, but overall really enjoying the game so far. Um, again, overall performance has been stabilizing. There was another patch that recently just came out, um, and so again, I've noticed even some more steady improvements with this latest patch here on PC. Now, I can't really speak to the launch state because I, I, I I personally didn't start playing this game until a few weeks after launch, just be given the state that the game was in. So I can't say, I personally, I can't anecdotally say how much better it is, but uh, certainly overall performance definitely does feel very smooth. Um, and just, you know, there, there's still some elements of slowdown and, and frame time stutter I can find, but it's nothing dramatic. Again, nothing that at least matches the description I saw in some reviews. So I would say overall, it seems that performance is definitely stabilized. Um, now the game itself looks gorgeous, especially on this display. Uh, this display overall has just been a, a truly impressive and immersive to play on. I've really been enjoying my experience with with every game I've thrown at this this monitor so far. The size at 45 inches, particularly, is just is just beautiful. It's very immersive, um, and again with the OLED panel, everything really pops, especially in a game like this. Now. With all that said, I'm going to go ahead and stop the commentary here and let you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all, whether it be about the screen or any of my settings, anything like that. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for your support. Please don't forget that like button, and also please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you later. I didn't expect to see this place operational after all this time. Let's stay alert. We need to find that lab. Sectors 5 through 9 inoperable, sectors 1 through 4 operational. Facility status activated, array status deactivated. Looks pretty active to me.
run him through. I have trained for this. Not today, friend. They're searching for something. Feeling? Yeah, me too. Let's look. Won't be locked for long. Thanks, bud. Where's the laboratory? The laboratory is off limits. The laboratory is inaccessible. You're okay. Find somewhere to hide. I don't have access. I tried to tell them. Please, leave me be. The Raiders really did a number on these droids. Hold on. I bet Z can get the data off this disk.
find out what this holds. Take this back to Z. 